סטיבן קובסוביץ', שלום. שלום. Welcome to Culture Buzz. Welcome to Israel. Thank you. Stephen, can you tell us please what brings you to the Jerusalem Music Center? Well, I was having dinner with Murray Pariah and his wife, I don't know, six, six months ago, a year ago, I don't remember. And he said, it would be nice if I came here. So I said, sure. And that's exactly it. Lucky us? Uh, Lucky us. I enjoyed it very much. And I must say, as one who has attended your master class two days ago yes. here at the Jerusalem Music Center. Yes. This master class was a masterpiece. Ah. Reminded me of the way you perform with your piano. Oh, thank you. So teaching, educating the young generation comes natural, Stephen? If they're, if they're natural, I'm natural. <laughs> yes. And this special project involves both young Israeli pianists and Chinese. Yes. What is your impression of the young generations of both countries? Well, um, I would expect young Israeli musicians to... because the classical music tradition is part of their culture. It's, and you don't expect that from the Chinese, but uh, in Japan and in China, this is changing and that it's, it's becoming not so much a foreign language as a language which they are much more at, at home in. Um, and um, I was uh, very pleased. I, I, I heard some performances in the class. Uh, that, I had the impression that the person really loved something in the music. Uh, I think that it's not only culture. You know that it's just a recent idea that I've started to think again. The, our language, the actual language, has an influence on the kind of sound we make, playing the violin or doing anything. The Americans, for example, their pronunciation, like it or not, is a bit too clear. The English are a bit too... vague, uh, Russian is very, very rich, and uh, Asian languages, uh, the syllables are often quite quick, and I'm not sure, but I think there is also, not just culture, but your mother language, how it affects the way you play. Um, I think that if I had been born in Germany or Brazil or Russia, I would have a slightly different sound depending on, depending on the language. And uh, certainly uh, there are some phenomenal young Chinese pianists uh, that is indisputable. And uh, just because they're phenomenal pianists doesn't mean they're phenomenal musicians. But each time I hear something which thrills me in the best of them. And, and you think that there, it's, the world is getting closer and closer. I've been playing in Japan for well, many years, and always you have the impression they type their performances. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I was teaching in Ver, Verbier Fest, Festival last summer. Young 16-year-old Japanese girl comes, fourth bell out of shop, and I thought, oh my God. And I was in tears. Wow. And that, I promise you, could not have happened maybe five, maybe not ten years ago. And I played Beethoven Fourth with an orchestra that, there in Japan. They always play perfectly. This time, they played beautifully. Wow. So things are changing. Part of the globalization. Yes. In a way. Yes, yes. The cultural globalization. Yes. Stephen, I'm not sure I'm allowed to... Uh, But that means you're going to. <laughs> Dis disclose some of your advices from two days ago to the young pianist. Let's see. One of them was cheat. Yes. <laughs> you were referring to the hard uh, places uh, that might have been easier for Rachmaninov or and Horowitz. Well, but I got the advice from Horowitz. Or himself. <laughs> himself. 
<laughs> because I mean Horvitz, he, he, I mean he had more technique than all of us put together. But even he had certain problems. That he just didn't think it was worth it. And what he and what is true, uh, Rachmaninoff didn't cheat. He was such an incredible, incredible, incredible pianist that you know. But you have two choices if you come to. I'm speaking, you do this at the last resort, only when you have no other options. A very difficult passage. And to play all the notes, like a good boy or a good girl, you may have to be a little careful, you may have to be, uh, and really go against the music. It's a mistake. But if you, sometimes you leave one note out, you can fly. You, maybe your finger doesn't fit very well. Mm -hmm. And why not? Be Basically, if we have to sum this up, be less a technician, be more a musician. Yes, of course you must play fantastically. But listen, when I recorded the Brahms Second Piano Concerto, I don't know how much you know about music, but the last movement has passages which are virtually unplayable. And when I recorded it for the first time, I thought, of course, I'm the only one who can't do it. I listened to all the recordings. None of them can do it's it. It's a wonderful we, concerto. Yeah. One of we the all, most of beautiful ones. I know. But we all make our little arrangements. By the way, I still have and cherish a CD by you playing the two Brahms concerti. With Colin Davis. Yes. Much better than the later ones. Okay. The later ones are too grown up. I'll remember They're that. They're boring. I'll remember that next time I visit my shop. Yes. Stephen, I was very impressed two days ago during the masterclass you yeah. gave, which was a masterpiece. Okay. You referred to the fact that when you look at different generations performing the same musical piece, yeah. inevitably there will be a difference. That's right. And the other thing I found very interesting, and I'm not sure I got it right, had to do with the gender difference. That's a very, very contentious issue. Will you be brave enough to go into yes. this uh, trap? Of course, of course it's a trap. And what I say can be taken out of context and made ridiculous. But the truth is that there is a... For example, I was, I was teaching in Vrebje and Marta Argerich was in the public. Well, we have a daughter, so we know each other very, very well. But I came to this issue. Some student was playing, I think it probably a woman, I'm not sure playing something rather simple and making a lot of nuance about it. Or maybe it was a man doing the opposite, I don't remember. But I said to Marta, do you also think there is a gender uh, identity sometimes? She said, absolutely. Oh. You see? And uh, So it's not a minority opinion. No, but you have, to, you have to acknowledge it. For example, sometimes a woman, as in this class here, a passage of Rachmaninoff, which is very square, and he wants it, maestoso, very square. A woman, I'm, look at, for everybody who wants to ridicule me, now's your opportunity. <laughs> we'll <laughs> protect you. You'll, you'll protect me. Um, there's a tendency to think, I must make music. To play straight is brutal. To play straight is not musical. To play straight is masculine. You understand. And you have the opposite. You, you uh, men make the, I'm not talking about everybody and all the time, but you see it often this tendency. And so I was simply saying to this person that uh, sometimes to play straight and not be musical is the musical thing to do. Um, and I think that perhaps men and women have slightly different instinctive res responses. And sometimes maybe it's a good uh, advice sometimes to abandon the political correctness. Well, political correctness is what I hate above everything. <laughs> I'm happy I've raised it. Stephen, you have accomplished so much. You have spoiled us with some of the best recordings I know. What can we wish you for the future? I want to, if you really want to know, I want to add some solo Rachmaninoff to my repertoire. And in recording, there's not much I want to do. Maybe the mazurkas of Chopin, uh -huh. uh, which are, is central. And it's interesting, in all the classes, not one mazurka. <laughs> they play really? Etudes, they play sonata, they play ballad. It's unacceptable. <laughs> no, because the mazurkas are the most hard, I don't mean fingers, I mean inside. 
They're the hardest to do, and they're the most wonderful of all. Steven, we want to thank you very much for taking the time. Wish you all the best. Enjoy Jerusalem. I hope they give you some time to see the place. Yes, I have. And good luck. Thank you. Toda Rabba Shalom, and come again. With pleasure.